So I'm back from the dead, at least like kind of. I always say that I'm gonna make more YouTube videos and then I never end up doing it. I never have the motivation. I literally pay for a video editor every single month and I don't even use it every month. So that's kind of pointless, especially because I'm bad at editing. So why am I even paying for like a really good editor when I don't even know how to use it? So anyway, um, I did finally get my pre-order. Uh, it was delayed for a month, as I'm sure like all of yours were delayed too. I did finally get my blind boxes, and so I'm going to be unboxing them all and ranking them as I go, because my opinion on a lot of G7s has changed as I got them. So I want to see how my ranking is, seeing them in person, because I bet it's a lot different than what I would have guessed, because they look so different in the promos. Like I know for a fact, the King Charles Spaniel, like, it looks so bad to me in the promos. Like, it looks really orangey, but in pictures I've seen, it's like a lot lighter, a lot more yellow, and a lot prettier. So, I'll be ranking them as I go, and so yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna start the unboxing and stop talking. Also, I have no idea why I put my mascot, so we're using this collie for now, because she was there, and she's my favorite collie. So once again, I don't really have the desk space for this, so I can't really zoom out and show the whole thing, but like, you can see the pets there, so that's nice. There's the cat in the corner. If I move the camera, it'll move like everything I have set up, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what the cases look like. If not, I'll add a picture or something. Um, I don't really have room. My plan was to like line them up in the back in their order. I don't really have room for that, so we're just gonna figure something out as we go. I also just want to quickly add that I pre-ordered two full sets of the blind boxes because there's so many pets I want to like add details to. Like the one I'm most excited to add details to is the tiger because it has like no body details. I also want to add like hooves on the horse and the bull and then toe beans on the cat. Like I have so many things I want to do. So I've pre-ordered two cases the day the pre-order was available. I had no idea that the pre-order would sell out. Like that is not a thought that crossed my mind. I don't know if I would have pre-ordered two if I knew they would sell out. I probably would have just stuck with one and tried to find the doubles in stores. But in case anyone doesn't know, I live in literally the middle of nowhere and we've gone LPS hunting once all of 2024. And today is like February 2nd or 3rd, I think. And we've gone once because we have to go to Idaho to another state to go hunting. And there wasn't a single pet there. So, uh, I pre-ordered because I didn't want to have to rely on finding them in stores when we can't really do that. We're not even going to be able to go again for a few more weeks. Um, hopefully they'll be out in Walmart by then, so, because there's like two Walmarts there, I think. Um, anyway, so I will be selling some doubles. Okay, so I'm finally opening these, and this is the only one I'm going to show, like, the whole, like, opening process. The others I'm just going to, like cut to the pet so this isn't longer than it needs to be. It's already longer than it needs to be with my ranting. Um, but we're gonna see which one our first blind bag pet is. And I hope it's someone good and right off the bat, this is one of the pets that I'm not excited for. Where did it go? I'm scared. This one consistently has really bad quality. Oh, my puppy is staring at me through the door. If you guys are barking or meowing, I have two pets that don't like to be quiet when I'm recording. But that's fine because little puppy barks are cute. Anyway, okay, this one's actually not like terrible. Like, I have seen some rough bowls. Still don't like him, if I'm being honest. Hooves would help a lot, but he's kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Um, I guess he has to be number one right now. I guess I'll keep them in the back here, but like I'll only have so much room, so things will get like changed out or whatever. I completely forgot to show the other stuff. Like he comes with a trophy. There's a Roblox code, which I don't care about that much, so there you go, guys. And then his little card. And a checklist, which I'm not gonna show. Okay, so our second pet. Oh, spoiler alert, I saw the card is the Himalayan cat, which I, like everyone else, loved her, but I've seen so much hype for her and the gray wolf that like, I appreciate other pets now because she's not overrated. I'm not saying she's overrated. She is like perfectly rated. She deserves the hype. 
I just like want to hype up lesser hyped pets, if that makes sense. My favorite uh, G7 pet out of all of them is the Pet Fluencer Maltese. I'm obsessed with her. She's so freaking cute, and I would do anything for her except pay scalper prices. So, she definitely goes ahead of the bowl. Just is gonna get messy so fast. And she comes with a little lemonade, and I love these accessories. I'm not even an accessories person, and I love those lemonades. Okay, here is pet number three, and let's not look at the card this time on accident. Oh, it's her. It's her. I love poodles. I love poodles in real life. I want one so badly. The only reason I didn't get a poodle is because I like collies more. Collies are perfect. My puppy is perfect. He's great. But poodles, I freaking love poodles. Sorry, maybe that was too much, but like she looks good. Like her quality, she looks really good. I'm kind of surprised. I don't like her slight head tilt, but like it's not a big deal and she's freaking cute. She's definitely my favorite so far. Um, I don't know where her accessory went. I realized it would get even messier keeping their accessories with them. So I moved the cards and accessories away just to use what little room we have. I also forgot to say the bull is number five, the cat is number four, and I lost the poodle's card. First her brush, now her card. I'm so good at this. Okay, I found her brush, it's blue. I just wanna show, like I'm sure everyone knows what they come with, but just in case, I'm gonna show the accessories. Um, I wasn't gonna show the checklist, but I do wanna show her just cause she's my favorite and I want everyone to know who I'm talking about because I'm obsessed with her. If it would focus, you could see how pretty she is. Okay, it'll only focus from far, but you can still see her. And she is great, and she's number 48, and she's my favorite. But the poodle is number two. Okay, pet number four. Oh, I know who this is. I see the surfboard. Um, I thought it fell out, but it's so much smaller than I thought, and it was still in there. So that's embarrassing for me. I actually... um. This is one of the only G2 molds that I've never owned. I don't have the triplet birds. So like, I had no idea how small it was. It's actually cuter than I expected, but I don't know. It's definitely one of my least favorite out of all the pets. Here's his little surfboard. But I don't know if I like him more than the bull or not, but I think so. I just, something about the bull, I really don't like him. Even though I love the G2 bowl, maybe that's why I don't like him, because he literally looks like a fake version of the G2 bowl, because the quality difference and the design difference, he's so plain, and I love plain pets. G2 blind bag pets are some of my favorite pets. I love plain pets, but he's not doing it. Also, the bird is number nine. I'm so bad at this. Okay, and our next pet, I already lost count. This is number five. Okay, that's not even that hard. I don't know how I lost count already. So I know who this is because he comes with the fish bones. This is another one I've been worried about the quality about, so moment of truth. It actually looks good. Like I've been worried about this one's eyes specifically. They're definitely like grainier than some of the others, but he's freaking cute. He's so much cuter than I thought he was. Okay, he's moving up to third place. And he is number 11. Pet number six. Oh, is it? It's Meepo. It's Meepo. He's been one of my favorites since the countdown. He's so freaking cute. Green is my favorite, like, colorful color. Like, on paper, my favorite color is green. It's actually, like, gray. But usually that's not what people are looking for when they ask for a favorite color. I freaking love green, though. I don't love yellow. But this like works so well. He's so freaking cute. He might be my favorite. I don't know where his accessory went. Found it. It's this green bottle. Everything just keeps falling like right in front of the camera where I can't see it. And he is going to number one and I'm not gonna move anyone. You won't be able to see him, but he's there. Pet number seven, I think. Oh, I can feel who it is. I'm so excited for this one. So he comes with a little bucket. It's the Clydesdale. This is one of my favorite G2 molds. They're so freaking cute. I know I was complaining about the hooves not having paint on the bowl. 
It looks a little better on the Clydesdale, but probably because he has the big fluffy tail. Still gonna paint hooves on my double. He's so cute. I don't like that hole on his chest, but it's nothing compared to some I've seen. Oh, his face is like dirty or something. Hopefully that cleans off. If not, it's not the worst thing. Just like a little annoying. He's so freaking cute though. I want the two pack Clydesdale so badly. It's one of my favorite pets from the G7s. I think, I think I gotta put him in number one again. So sorry Meepo, you're not number one anymore. I decided to slide the pets over so the cuter ones are first and like in the frame. One second, I gotta go see what he's barking at. Toffee was just throwing a fit that Mina, our cat, was drinking the water when he wanted to drink the water. He's dramatic. If anyone has a smooth or rough collie, they're drama queens. Okay, now that that's done. Our next pet, I think this is our eighth pet. I don't know if I'm gonna keep track. I'm not good at that. Um. Oh. Okay. Fun fact, real quick, I was at LPS Con. I was at the very first, um, like, panel that Basic Fun did where they, like, revealed the panda and everything. And I was so disappointed because of their presentation and because they gave us nothing while being, like, really dramatic about, like, this has to be secret, don't take pictures, when there was literally nothing to hide. Um, and because of that, I have beef against this panda and I think the new mold is really ugly. I'm sorry, I don't like it. It's like, it just looks bad to me. I don't know. I hate this one more than I hate the bull and I hate it more in person than I thought I did before. So, sorry basic fun. Um, maybe when we have the pets in the US, I'll be less salty. Uh, but yeah, I do not like the panda, I'm sorry. It's going last place. Okay, next pet. Hopefully it's better than the panda. It is not better than the panda. Okay, it's a why it Okay. It's pretty dirty, especially around like the LPS mark. Um It's okay. I think I still like it more than the panda. I just have personal beef with the panda, I think. Uh it's better in person than I thought it would look. But its head and body are such different colors. Like, I've seen that with some of the G7 pets, even some G2 pets. But I feel like this one's the worst one I've seen. And I've never noticed it with this bunny before, so... Here's the scarf, though. Um, I think I'm actually gonna put this above the bowl. It's just not quite terrible. But it's almost there. I just realized... It's gonna absolutely suck when I need to get these bottom blind boxes because everyone's in front of it. So we'll see how that goes. Sorry, this is probably the like lamest unboxing video ever. I'm just not good at making videos anymore. I don't even know if I ever was, but I certainly am not now. But the only way to get better is to actually record. So here I am. And here is the next pet. Oh, it's the otter, okay. The similar G2 otter is the only otter I don't have, so I don't know how similar it looks in person. This one's really cute, but like, the pets that are super similar to old pets are not my favorites. I don't know why I just threw those to the side. Um, I think I'm still gonna put it above the cat though. Oh no, it's cute. The otters are cute, that's all. And I forgot to say the bunny is number eight and the otter is number seven. I'm realizing now what I should have done is taken out all the blind boxes and then like mix them up and put them in a random order. Cause they're like kind of in order and that makes this like less random and less fun. But oh, it's her, okay. This is one of my old favorite molds. One of my favorite pets ever. Um, is a King Charles Spaniel, number 2570. I think that's her number. I'll put a picture of her up, it's fine. She comes with a little boat, and she's cute. She's a little, like, 
funky looking. Her eyes are a little weird. Um, but she's really pretty, and I was right, she does look a lot better in person than she does in all the promos. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna put her... Uh, I don't know. I can't decide if I like the poodle more than her. I definitely like the poodle more than her. Okay, she's going ahead of the otter, but behind the poodle. And I'll show everyone, like, in order of the ranking at the end. Um, just, like, because you can't see everyone right now. Okay. Okay, so next pet is the Corgi. So far, um, oh, I saw someone got one really squished and it fully looked really squished for a second. Its face does look off, though. I'm so confused. It's so, like, diagonal? I don't know. One second. No offense to this corgi, but it just looks bad. It has, like, marks all over it. It's really dirty on the back of the head. Like, you can see dirt on camera. That's how bad it is. Um, is the white chipped? The white looks bad on the back. It's, like, face isn't aligned. I think that's why it looks so weird. Like, it's not around the nose the way I feel like it should be. Um, I mean, it's cute. I have the corgi that comes in the play set and I think I like that one more the is mine just weird why does the camera like why does the crown not fit it I'll find out when I open the doubles um I'm disappointed in this one it is number 12 by the way I'm very disappointed. My disappointment makes me dislike it more than I feel like I would normally. I don't know. I'm gonna put it behind the pelican because I still like it more than the little triplet bird, dude. I don't know. That one... That's the one I'm most disappointed in because I thought it would be cute. And now I have to move everyone to get these out, so wish me luck. I totally forgot you could lift the cardboard up, so that solves that problem. And we will open our next one. This one feels pretty big. So I think it's the walrus. I think it's the walrus, yep. Okay. His colors look a bit nicer in person. He's number 17, he's kind of cute. He looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna put him over the corgi. Honestly, like that's just how disappointed I am with the corgi. Okay, and the next pet, we're getting kind of close to the end. I'm sorry, this is a really long video and I'm not gonna have fun editing this because like I said, I don't really know how to edit. I'm sure that's kind of obvious because I don't really do much, but here is Toffee. He looks just like my puppy. I see absolutely no difference. The nose, perfect, on point. It's a collie nose if I ever saw one. This one's actually really freaking cute and it has a band up. It has a band. <laughs> oh my god. It has a banana, not a bandana, and it is number 15. And I don't know, man, it's Toffee. Anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with my dog. So. I don't know, I think, hmm. I think he's gotta go above the otter. It's Toffee. Spot the difference, I see none. Okay, I don't know if anyone can be Toffee at this point. Well, there's pets in front of him, but like, out of the ones remaining, I don't think anyone can beat Toffee. This one's so freaking cute. My husband loves this one. He's gonna be so excited. Dude, why it? The camera's dancing. The camera loves him. What the heck? Okay, one second. Okay, hopefully I got it to stop doing that. This is number 13. He also comes with a little bamboo. He's really cute. He's cuter than I thought he was gonna be. I think I'm gonna... Nope, it's still dancing. It just loves him. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna put him above the pelican, I think. No, I'm gonna put him behind the pelican. 
And here is our next pet. Also, I really like the packaging and um, I like the tissue paper a lot. Um, okay. So I really like black, gray, and white together more than I like this together. But I feel like this panda looks slightly less dead inside. So I think I'm going to put this between the bull and the bunny. So two higher than the black panda. Next pet. Oh, this is one I'm so excited for. I forgot about him. He has a little plant. He's so freaking cute. I don't know. I didn't like his orange color in promos, but in real life, he's so freaking cute. I can't wait to give him details. I love him. He might be my favorite. I have the Tiki Jungle um, Jaguar, and that's one of my favorite pets. And now I just need the two-pack tiger and I'll have all of this mold of the new ones. I love this mold. I love this pet and I think it's got to go number one after all that. It's so freaking cute. It's number 18, the last pet, and it's going straight to number one. Okay, we have our last blind box. I really hope, I don't know who this is, but I kind of hope he's like on one of the ends because if he's in the middle, moving everyone at this point is really, really gonna suck. So we're gonna see. Oh, I completely forgot that this pet existed. Here's his little surfboard, and here is the shark. I don't... Oh, his color's so much better in real life, though. I don't know. I didn't like him that much before, and I like the sharks. I just wasn't a big fan of him, but he's cute! His color is so pretty! Um... I think I'm gonna have to put him behind the chameleon ahead of the walrus. Okay, now I'm gonna show them one at a time in order of least favorite to favorite. And I also think I forgot to say the shark's number, but he is number 14. Um, so I'm gonna show them close up so you can see them a little bit better without a bunch of things in the background. So here we go. Okay, so in 18th place, we got the black and white panda. I'm fully acknowledging I am biased. My disappointment for all the hype buildup is definitely contributing why I don't like this, but I just do not like the mold. I was never the biggest fan of the G2 pandas anyway, but I do like the other like bear mold with it, the hand on the foot more than this. And this is just a worse version of a mold I already didn't really like. I like how shiny it is, but that's kind of about it. I don't, I don't know. But I acknowledge I'm biased, and I think it's great that other people love this pet. I just really, really do not. Number 17 is the bull, and I just don't like him. He's plain. He's too similar to the old one, but looking like a way worse version. His quality seems to be, like, consistently the worst, though mine's not terrible, so I'll give him that. Um, I wish his hooves were painted. I don't like the lightning bolt. And he just is a disappointment after the G2 bull and it being the only bull. So the fact that the only other bull we got is kind of lame is a little bit sad. But I'm so glad that so many people like him, like with the panda. I've seen a lot of people say they're most excited for him and that is great. I just don't like him. Number 16 is the purple panda. It's basically just like a slightly cuter version of the other one, which as I said before, I really like black, gray, and white together, so I'm genuinely surprised I like this one more. Um, I don't know. Once again, it's for sure got to be my personal bias. I don't know. It's okay. Number 15 is this bunny. It honestly just looks like a fake pet. The scarf's kind of cute, its colors are nice, but its eyes look weird and I wish the inside of its ears was painted. Number 14 is this bird. I don't love the mold, I don't love the colors or the design, but I do like it more than I thought I would. It's just definitely not as cute to me as most of the others are. Number 13 is this corgi. I really hope mine is just weird and they're not all like this, but the crown won't stay on, it's really dirty, its face looks weird. Um, and the Playhouse one is a lot better, even though I thought I would like this one a lot more. Number 12 is the Walrus, and I honestly like him a lot more than I was expecting. Um, his colors are nice. I don't love his eyes, like I feel like they could have gone with a better color, but they're still cute. I really like his little designs, they look really nice, and he's just a lot better than I expected. Number 11 is this shark. It has really good colors. I also like it a lot more than I expected. 
the lightning bolts aren't my favorite and it sucks that like it's just I know it's more green but it's like another blue shark we got three blue sharks of varying colors from G2 I really like the pink G2 shark and I really like the yellow G7 shark um, which would be placed a lot higher than this one but it is still really cute I do really like the colors and I'm glad we're getting more sharks. They're an underrated mold. Number 10 is the chameleon. Once again, uh, like most pets, like I'm glad we're getting more of underused molds. Um, it's really cute. I love the chameleon mold. I do think I like the G2 one more though. And this one's just a little too similar for it to rank higher, but he is a cutie and I do love him. Number nine is the pelican, and I'm sure you guys are really tired of me saying that I like them more in person than I thought I would, because uh, I've said it so many times, but it's true for so many G7 pets, and it's just, this one's so pretty. I love the purple and pink, the orange works surprisingly well, and the white. Uh, I like the thick eyeliner too, and I like the little details on his hair thing. Number eight is the Himalayan, and I almost regret putting her so low because she's so cute. Like I said before, she deserves every crumb of hype she gets. I just uh, want other pets to feel appreciated too. It's like when you love a song and it's a really, really good song, but then you hear that song play everywhere because it's a good song. It deserves to be played, but then you get tired of that song and everyone listens to it again. I'm not quite that far with this cat, but that's almost how I feel about this cat and the wolf. They deserve every crumb of hype, but there's only so many times you can listen to it over and over and over again without getting tired of it. And I'm someone who listens to songs on repeat constantly. So, like I said, she deserves the hype. I just like other pets more than her because she already feels a little bit overdone. Number seven is the otter. She's just a cutie. I don't really have much to say. I love the mold. I love the colors. I love the eyes. Everything about her is freaking cute. The little hearts. Are you kidding me? They're so cute. I know it's literally just like the G2 one copy and pasted. And I just said earlier that the chameleon couldn't be higher because it was so similar. But this one is just so freaking cute. And I don't have the G2 one in person to compare. So that gives it like extra points. Maybe if I had the G2 one, I'd like this one a little less but I don't so it gets to enjoy its place for now. Number six is Toffee aka the anteater. Um, he is freaking cute. I love green as I said. His stars are cute. His colors are great. His nose is slaying. He's just fantastic and the anteaters are just adorable. Who couldn't love this face? Mina decided now is the perfect time to have a snack. So if you hear little cat crunchies in the background, she's having a nice little snack. Anyway, um, number five is the King Charles Spaniel. She's really cute. I wish she had a little bit more to her, but I will fix that with my double of her. And I don't know, I don't really have much to say about her because she's just really good. Number four is the Poodle. I've also been so excited for her since the very first countdown. She's freaking cute. Pink and purple together is always a sleigh. The blue bows work so well. I love this mold. It's always been one of my favorite molds from G2s. One of my favorite pets is the purple sparkly poodle like this. And I also really like the European special edition pink poodle like this. They're just so freaking cute and I'm so glad there's more. And the little stars, they're so similar to the sparkle one, but it works because it's also so different at the same time. Number three is Meepo, aka the Caterpillar. I don't know why Basic Fun said it was a silkworm on the Roblox game because silkworms don't even have antennas. I don't know if caterpillars do actually. Um, I don't know, but I don't think it's a silkworm. Um, inchworm, caterpillar, I don't know, but I don't think it's a silkworm, but look at the little feet. They're so good. This mold is so underrated, and it's green, and it just lays so hard. Number two is the Clydesdale, another really good mold. It's so cute. It's just not quite as cute as the two-pack one, but it deserves second place. The white muzzle is so cute. The hearts, they're gorgeous. I love him. I feel like this is the most excited I've ever been able to be in a video, and I'm here for it. I, I'm glad I can finally be excited in a video. And number one, everyone knows what's coming. I just talked about it. 
But the Jaguar is number one. He's so cute. And I'm not even like an orange person. I don't like the color orange. But so many of my favorite pets are orange. Like my favorite short hair cat is number 1377. Spoiler alert for when I finally cave and rank short hair cats, which is gonna be a long, long time because I have too many short hairs. Um, but like, I don't know, something about orange pets. If they're a good orange, it works. The little designs in his ears are hidden perfectly. They're not like just stamped on the body somewhere like so many of the other pets. The white muzzle, once again, the ears. I can't tell if it's black or like grayish. I think it's like gray. I don't know, it's hard to tell in this lighting for me. Um, but it's just so freaking cute and I can't wait to get the two pack tiger and this one just wins. It is number one of the blind bag pets. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, so slay to basic fun, not slay to it being delayed for over a month, but it's fine. Also, I was just looking at the poodle and it has like a mark, like it's plastic was stabbed or something. You can't really see it, but a little disappointing. But like I said, I've seen so many bad quality pets, so I will take this. I'm fine with all of these. Anyway, maybe I'll finally keep making videos. Um, I'm gonna try and edit this one today to upload tomorrow. You guys don't know when that is, so I can pretend I did it on time even if I didn't. Um, anyway, I'm super excited. I'll make a video showing all the painted ones I do when I open the other blind boxes, if you guys want me to. Um, and I'm finally going to rank my Cocker Spaniels and then finish my collection videos. It's just gonna be a little bit. I just gotta find the motivation. But I'm super excited. And I'm actually motivated today, so maybe I'll record another video after this. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to get my hands on the other pets, especially the two packs. And I pre-ordered the pet fluencers, and I'm so excited. Um, all in all, like, I hope you guys can find these. I hope everyone who pre-ordered them gets them. And I hope anyone who didn't pre-order them is able to find the ones they want in stores. And just good luck. And I'm just super excited for this release as a whole if it actually gets released in stores in the U.S. So I will see you guys whenever I decide to record another video, which hopefully is soon. And I'm not going to have fun editing this because I talked way too much. So uh, bye. Also, you guys should tell me which is your favorite of the blind bag pets. And if you're feeling like extra spicy you should like rank them all because i love to see people's rankings so bye for now <laughs>